uh, and you can come in. Okay. A lot of people are put off Hawkins. Lots and lots of people are put off Hawkins because of calibrations. And the egos get really, really hooked in. Uh, like, for example, what was it? I forget. But you know, he'll calibrate dolphins and whales or something. Or he'll, ca he'll, he'll calibrate a politician. And then, and then everyone will be like totally like, you, know, you must be joking. That politician does not calibrate at that level. So, and they go and they'll, oh, you know, I had people come to the group and say, I watched a video where Hawkins said this calibrates at that, and I don't like Hawkins any longer. I'm not going to really, you know, or that people will say, you know, he, these are his personal judgments on, 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 on the world of, of better and worse than. And the thing with that is, you know, the, well, first of all, a few, few things. Le levels of consciousness. The levels of consciousness are not better or worse than others, but, you know, but to know them is like certain levels are more appropriate. So just to know that information is very valuable. Like, you know, if I'm, uh, uh, for example, if I'm at a very, very low vibration, uh, you know, it's not like, you know, if I read a book on enlightenment, it wouldn't be appropriate. You know, uh, it's like, you know, if I'm not very low vibration, I, I want to kill everyone. Like joining a 12-step group on learning to forgive is going to be the thing I can handle next. And actually, that would be the next best thing. It wouldn't even be like, you know, if I, if I haven't done any spiritual work and I want to kill everyone, you know, like reading a book on that, the, that there is no separation and the world's an illusion, it's not that that's better. I mean, it would be like, you, if you calibrated it through muscle testing, you'd see that, and what would be the best thing for this person to do? It could be like, see a therapist, or it could be a thing. That would be the thing. And actually, it would be like, you know, should that person read I, subject to liberty, right, when they can't even forgive their grandmother? No, it's like, you know, there's going to be calibrate. No, you go and see your therapist and, you know, just try and see your, your grandmother differently, or whatever it is. So, that for where you are, for your vibration, that, I mean, you wouldn't know that, but intuitively you'd, be, you'd say that. And you could measure it with, a, with someone who can do muscle testing. That that is, for where you're at, that would be the thing you'd want to do. That's why that has a right place. But, you know, if you've, uh, if you're, uh, you know, if, you, if you're like, a, you know, if you've gone, I don't know, if there is such a thing as saint school, if you've gone to saint school, St. Francis's school in Assisi, I don't know what it is, but anyway, so, and you're already a saint, you know, like, you know, like, should you go and see your therapist to learn how to forgive, you know, like, no, I mean, you're already, like, way beyond that, you know, should you read, like, Enlightenment, Buddha, or, or uh, something like I, writing subjectivity, you, you find out that, but that is a higher vibration, you know, Buddha, and I write it, it is far higher. It's not a judgment, because the ego likes to hook in and say that's a judgment. It's true, you know, like, this is the thing, Hawkins described it really wonderfully as trees. You know, the trees. Like, um, if one tree is taller than, like if I say to someone, depends on your level of consciousness, that tree is taller than that tree, right? <laughs> and suddenly I'll be bombarded, like, <gasps> You said that tree, I mean, you said that tree is better than that tree. Oh, you know, like, you, you're not allowed to do that. I thought you were spiritual. You cannot say that there, that tall tree is taller than the short tree. I think, I wasn't judging that tall tree <laughs> as being short. That's what you layered the judgment on. I said that tree is taller than that tree. And they go, no, you, no you're not allowed to say that because you're being judgmental. It's not a judgment. It, it's it's like tall trees and short. If I say that tree is taller than that tree, <clears throat> is it is it a judgment or is it just they're you know they're different heights, you know. So so then the ego gets caught up, you know, like uh, the tree is taller than the other tree. Or if I said that tree has got a wobbly branch and that tree is a straight branch, then it's like no, you're not allowed to say that because you're not allowed to measure trees. You're not allowed to, because if you have a scale of measurement of trees, that would be a judgment. That's a thought. That's a projected judgment. Actually, some trees are taller than other trees. Uh, so, you know, and if you were trying to make a table and you'd m measure a table, you'd say, I, I can't 
this tree is too short for the purpose of making a table. Is it a judgment? No, that's a layered, layered idea of, of, you know, length. So spiritual vibration, like uh, therapy having a vibration, uh, Buddha having a vibration, certain music having a vibration, one can say now you're making a judgment that one Buddha is better than Adolf. It's not a judgment, it's, it's a vibration. Like a tree is taller than another tree is not a judgment. But the ego can then inter internalize that as I'm now making a judgment that trees, you know, like I'm making judgments that, okay, in, in Africa, trees are taller than the trees in London. Okay, so that is like, oh, what, so I'm, I'm racist? Because I said, <laughs> I said that African trees are taller than English trees. And I obviously think African trees are more superior than English trees. So it's like, you see how the ego gets caught up in that, you know. And actually, you know, just saying that the trees, we, we did a measurement and study that the trees are taller than the thing in here. That's not a judge. If I did the thing and trees are taller in Africa than London, I said trees are taller. And then said, that's your personal judgment that African trees are taller than that trees. And, and it's like, uh, so you are just making judgments on trees or locality of trees. But actually, like, you know, like short trees may be better for, for some people and tall trees may be better for other people, depending on what, what you're doing. So it's not, it has use to know that taller trees are over there and shorter trees are over here, but it's not necessarily a, ju a judgmental ranking of trees. Um, My understanding of it has been that, so, for, for example, yeah. I read, uh, Eckhart Tolle's yeah. The Power of Now sure. years and years ago and I was like I remember reading it and being like oh that's a, that's a really great idea yes. and, and that was about as far as I got with it wow like, that's a really really good book and then I read it years later after yes. doing different pieces of work on myself and and it went in on a different level yes. yeah. so and I find that's exactly the same with therapy I've yeah. done a lot of therapy mm. for a number of years. Um, I remember uh, my first therapist, I can barely remember anything he said and, and yeah. it didn't really have any effect at all. Mm. But now when I have therapy, I have a very different experience. Mm -hmm. so, so that's how I perceive it. Yes. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, I think it's uh, absolutely perception changes with level of consciousness. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not. It's actually if you've been to. But also these things work. Like you get more out of them. Yes. The yeah. more you do. That, yes. That's what I'm saying. So I'm getting more out of therapy. I'm getting more out of twelve steps. I'm getting more out of Hawkins, dependent on how much work I've done on myself. That's true. The perception of everything changes, and the understanding of everything changes at different levels of consciousness. I think the, the, I mean, the thing with muscle testing or kinesiology is that it's able to, um, just like with a ruler, I can measure trees. Maybe something bigger than a ruler, but anyway. But, uh, but um, the uh, muscle testing is able to measure the invisible. Uh, that's why it, it, it's, it's used, you see. So we, scientists have their instruments, you know, I have rulers, and uh, we're all pretty good at measuring the visible world. Uh, muscle testing with a good uh, kinesiologist can measure the invisible world. So, like, you know, uh, so you can get access to the vibration of an individual. Uh, it's not a judgment, you know, like Adolf, is Adolf's vibration the same as, as Buddha? You know, it's it's like it's not it's not a judgment, but it's useful to know. Like, shall I meet Adolf today, or shall I meet Buddha today? Like, one is vibrating at a certain level, and the other is vibrating at a level. So, if you were able to have a measurement of the invisible vibration of two, it's not to judge them, but it's just to uh, like, oh, you shouldn't you shouldn't know that you sh if you shouldn't measure Adolf's vibration and Jesus's vibration. Because you'd be judging them. No, it's not. A, it's, it's just. It's just their vibrations. So and actually, to have access to the vibration like uh, of Adolf and thing, it's like well, you can make a decision of who you want to have tea with today in the afternoon. Uh, but people can then get hooked into. If you measure trees, you're making judgments of trees. 
Uh, so that, that's a mental projection from your level of consciousness. You know, if I say like that tree is taller than that tree, like someone will see that as just that tree is taller than that tree, and someone will, will in their level of consciousness say that you've now made a judgment on trees because you are just actually trying to say tall trees are better than I didn't say tall trees are better than short trees. Uh, you know, short trees are different to uh, thing, but yeah. Sorry, uh, that's got me a little bit. Sure, can I ask a question Please on do that? that. Yeah. Because yes, I, I see what you're saying there, and I can translate that in different you know sure. different ways in my mm -hmm. life. But how much responsibility do we have when the collective meaning, because there is you know if we're not talking about trees, we're talking about other things, yeah. when the collective meaning is that is better or worse mm. or smarter or mm. less smart. How much responsibility do we have though personally to not offend or affect mm. the other person? Mm. Um, you, know, well, the, but you, you see, that here, that's a really good question. You know, mm. it's a really mm. great question. Mm. One of the great things to know, is there an absolute? You know, a lot of people, relativi relativism, it's a great question. Relativism uh, versus the absolute. You know, and is there an absolute scale, or is everything in the world relativistic? Meaning, it means what I what I what I believe it to mean. Um, you know, and it's a, it's a really 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 good question. And you know, like if three of us agree for something to mean something, and another three of us agree for something to mean something, uh, is that real, or is there an absolute scale of consciousness? And here's the thing between is is there a divinity? Is there an absolute truth? Or is it, are we in a world of relativity where everything is just whatever we want it to mean? You know, and actually, the thing that all spiritual work, and especially the, um, uh, Hawkins' work, is there is an absolute scale of truth. We can, you know, like, like, you know, like if we were in a, in a relativistic argument, let's keep it to me and me, you and you, otherwise we'll get into heated debate. But. Uh, you know, we, I, could, I could be in a room where we say everyone agrees killing is good, or I don't know, like voodoo is good. And we could all agree to that. And that's, you know, and I'd be offended if someone came in the room and said, like, forgiving. Like, you know, we all agreed that killing is good, and you're coming in here and saying forgiving is good. Well, that's your opinion that forgiving is good, because in our view, killing is good. <laughs> you know? So, so, so it's like. Well, so, you know, like, you can get into these big debates about who's, who's right and who's wrong. And, but is there an absolute truth in, to, to, the, to the whole universe? And is there a way of divining a scale of measuring everything by absolute truth? And that is what Hawkins did. You know, this is the whole thing between atheists, relativists, and that there is an absolute truth that underlies all of, of the universe. You know, is otherwise we can have an argument all day on is love and forgiveness is that a higher vibration of truth, or is murder, and there is no absolute truth, the absolute truth. You know, so we could have it, and and we could debate that the whole day. But if there is an absolute truth, and then there's levels that fade away from that absolute truth, which is measurable, then you'd get a scale of consciousness. On, based on a scale related to absolute truth, you know, and then everything in this world could then be measured, and I know this will get people's egos up, via that scale relative to the absolute truth. Is infinite love and truth absolute, or is everything in this world, whatever we want it to mean, means what it means? And even if the whole world agreed that murder is good, does that mean that is true in the absolute scale? So, have I answered the question very clearly or not? Yeah, you did, and you lost me at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a th it's a thing, like, we can have, like, like even the whole collective, even countries agree to collective ideas. Mm. Uh, the sa satanic groups will have a, their collective idea of what is good and what is not good. But is there an absolute truth? Mm. If you stripped away everything, can we measure things by an absolute? You know, then everything has... There is a level of, of it's, not, it's not judging things, but it's a level of how in alignment with the absolute truth everything is in this world. Yeah? Is there an absolute? First you'd have to agree, is there an absolute? Is there a divine 
Is there a divine taking away of everything that's illusion in this world? Is there an underpinning absolute, absolute truth? And then could you measure everything by this absolute truth? Or is everything whatever we want to agree means? You know, just because we, like if we we're in the local satanic group, like murder is good and, and forgiveness is like for loony people because they got it wrong, you know. And then just because we all agree that murder is good to, in this group, and people who are forgiving are just farmy, you know. Well, because we all agree it and we all agree to that, is this, are we right and are they wrong? Or is there an absolute truth? Like, is the underpinning of the universe pure love and oneness? And then there's different grades of ego that are expressing stuff further and further away from that, from that absolute truth. And that would be then a scale based on the absolute or is the there's no such thing as an absolute underpinning to the universe and so we can just agree whatever we want to agree and because we agree it it's real yeah so that's the thing of you know relative you know the relativists and the atheists are very much in you know against the absolute um, because uh, you know the, you know like if I want to agree that what I'm saying is real and all you guys are wrong and there is no absolute, then, you know, I'm right and everyone's wrong. So that's the thing of like, you know, so then spirituality and uh, can just be argued as just being just something made up, you know, uh, and actually atheism and there is no, no absolute to the universe could be, could be said as just being equally valid. Taking, taking uh, you know, being an addiction is just as good, uh, or not forgiving is just as good as forgiving. You know, it's just a, a matter or a point of view. Or taking drugs is just as good as not taking drugs. It's just a point of view. Is that, is that clear? A bit more. <laughs> yeah. The I have a video on it, so... Yeah.